Yo, what's good? My name is JMO, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these slow motion kind of thermal looking effects. And this can be done super easily, literally under a minute. And this can just really sauce up your music videos very quickly and impress clients, which is what we always want to do. That's always our goal. If you want to create 3D effects without plugins in any editing program, check out the complete 3D pack on my website. With transparent backgrounds, all you have to do is drag and drop and you can create vortexes, floating objects, transitions, shockwaves, and many more effects in only a few clicks. Use code STINKY for 15% off. Off rip, what I'm gonna do is just add on the, I believe it's time warp effect. And as you see here, right when you add it on, it's gonna create this little slow motion effect, but we're actually gonna turn this up to 100 right here, just so it's back to normal. And then wherever we want this to go slow-mo, we're just gonna pick a little part. So I think right here is where I want it to go slow-mo. So I'll set my keyframe here for speed at 100 right there, and then kind of as his hand is going down right there, I'm gonna bring this down to about five. Could set that to eight, that's another good number. So now we have something that looks like that. And then sometimes if your frame just freezes, sometimes it'll just freeze on this. Just move this first frame forward, move your frames around a little bit and it should adjust and fix it. And as you can see here, I'm always editing in quarter quality just to save time while I'm editing. Now I'm gonna add on an adjustment layer. So I'll come down here, right click, create a new adjustment layer. And on this adjustment layer, I'm going to add on the invert effect. I like to use just the built in after effects one, then we can add on the curves effect if we want to play with these colors right here. Um, so if you want to darken this, you can bring this curve down like that, if you want to brighten it up. And you know, you, maybe you want to keyframe that in that can create some cool looks as well, but I'm definitely just going to make it a little bit darker. So something like right around there. And then if you want to change these different values, if you want to bring out certain colors, you can either bring the reds up or down. I like to bring it down a little bit. I kind of like to bring those greens and blues out a little bit. And then as well, if you go to your green, you kind of see what I mean here. If you bring down the greens, you kind of bring out some purples. If you push up the greens, you get more green. Obviously, I'm just going to kind of leave it there for now and then when it comes to the blues you know maybe bring that down just a little bit and yes yeah, so we kind of have something that looks like this if i want to go back down to the regular rgb and maybe brighten this up just a little bit i can do that and then if you want to keyframe this in or out you can just set the opacity keyframes right there i'm at zero at the beginning on the adjustment layer and then as that slow motion effect comes forward you can kind of bring that to a hundred percent and then if you want this to be faster you can easy ease your keyframes by highlighting them and pressing F9 and then you can bring up your speed graph and then just kind of pull these over like that so now we have something that looks like that and then another thing you could do if you want this to just last longer you could just pull the whole clip over like that and you can have that last for as long as you want even if the clip is like really short so you have something that looks like that and then of course what you want to do is just add on the sapphire flicker effect and if you guys don't have that you can just keyframe in some exposure and then kind of off rip right here. I'm gonna set this to zero for amplitude. And then as that transition is kind of taking place, we wanna bring it up, but not too much. So maybe 0 0.4 is gonna be good. And there we go. So that's looking like a really cool effect. And then as well, if you guys don't like how this invert is looking, what you can do is add on the HLS effect and then have this cycle through some different, you know, potential colors and you guys can get some really kind of weird looking stuff in here. So you, uh, you can do something like that. And another thing that you can do is if you just want to change it to one color, you can add on the tritone effect and then change the midtone to whichever color that you want. Like a red could look really cool. So, you know, maybe you got some that looks like that right there. And then another thing, you could change it to black and then you could have something like that. I think that looks really sick. Of course, you can always keep playing with these values if you kind of want to bring that back out again, just like that. And boom, just like that. You know, that looks really sick. And then that makes the flicker definitely pop out a little bit more. And yeah, this is an effect that you can create super quickly. You guys don't need to buy the expensive Twixter plugin for this. If you guys have Twixter, use that because it is better. Uh, but you know, you don't have to spend a couple hundred dollars to create this kind of effect. Just remember, if you guys ever post music videos like this, just make sure to add an epilepsy warning at the beginning of your music videos. 
you don't want to be that guy that doesn't put a warning in there. If you guys want to save time while editing and you guys want to continue to impress clients and use time saving assets, make sure to check out my website jmovfx.com. I spent about two years creating really high quality assets for you guys and I'm going to continue to do so for y'all. I appreciate y'all for supporting the channel and for tuning in as always. God bless. Peace out.